What is up, YouTube? This is Red Leprechaun Gaming, and welcome to episode two of One Last Chance, the spiteful hardcore run. As you can see, I have done literally nothing in the time between videos. This is immediately after that one. We've gotten quite a few of these already. Break literally everything but the one thing I'm trying to break. I could get some wood here, but I already got a bunch of wood on me. That's what she said. For a second I thought that was a path. It's just melons. It's gonna be night time again. You know what we should do? We should craft a bed and sleep. Because I do not feel like fighting phantoms. So we'll go over here, and we'll craft a bed, and we'll sleep, and then we'll immediately break the bed, because it doesn't matter where our spawn point is. This is hardcore mode. <laughs> Honestly, our hunger is going to go down pretty damn fast if we're sprinting everywhere, which we definitely are going to because it's going to take a long time to get any true distance, especially in the beginning when we're stopping to grab stuff every five seconds. Okay, so... Bad. Honestly, from a softness perspective, this would be a very comfortable bed if you really like soft beds, because that's a solid, that's a solid meter of wool covering your bed right there. That's kind of ridiculous. Okay. Off we go. Ooh, more cocoa beans. We have almost an entire stack. And a stack of cocoa beans makes eight stacks of cookies, I believe. So, uh, we're gonna be pretty set on food for a very long time. Oh, no. Come on. Nope, 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 nope. Not taking any damage from you, sir. Never trust a spider. I'm gonna end up damaging myself from those things. Is he still aggroed on me? I thought that guy had a freaking uh, tried it, and for a second I saw my very short Minecraft life flash before my eyes. My, what is this? It's gonna be like an hour's worth of recording. Come on. Get up there. It appears we're exiting the jungle shortly, unless those are just gimme trees. Yoink. Thank you for the free wool. I might as well keep collecting it because... Oh, you know what we should be doing? We should be killing chickens that we see so that we get the uh, feathers for arrows. Because we can always get flint whenever the hell we want. We can afford four more of these. Hello, Ocelot. One. Where did that even go? It's on top of the tree, isn't it? Oh, well. Two more. This is a big jungle biome. I'm gonna have to look at this seat afterwards. This is this is quite the find. It always seems when you want to find a jungle biome, it's it, like impossible to find. Whoop. And then like when you're not looking for it, when you're just doing a run where you're gonna be sprinting indefinitely. Whoop. Gotta eat some of this. <laughs> Once this bread runs out, we'll make eight stacks of cookies. Well, not eight stacks at once, but we'll make cookies. Oh, another plains biome. And it looks like normal forest that direction. I'm not going out of my way to get the resources. I'm just kind of collecting them if they happen to be in the general direction I'm going, because we're doubtlessly going to come across a ton of resources. How is... Have I been through here before? What? I, I do not understand. 
We didn't go in a circle, did we? We f Wait a second. Did we go in a circle? Is this the same village? Was that a giant? Yep, because our we went in a giant circle. Our counter's going down. Because we were traveling on the Zed Gordon, and I thought we were about to hit 500. We must have gotten turned around in the jungle and gone back. Yep. Is that the village we were just at? That's why the sheep was sheared there. Well, not off to a great start. I'm glad I have the coordinates on because I would have not noticed that. And then I would have been like, huh. Well, actually, I wouldn't have noticed it ever. And we would have just been going on the X coordinate that entire time instead of the Z coordinate. I don't know how we got so turned around. It must have been while we were getting the, uh, what do you call them? The words. Cocoa beans. Still have 27 bread. That's ridiculous. Come on. Let's try not to get turned around here. Attempt numero dos. Not until like 6.15 or whatever. Okay, this is the river. I'm gonna cross over here instead of where we did before. Like, I don't know how we got turned around that way. Huh. That's so weird. Is that that same spider? We're getting chased by the same spider again. Why are you so aggroed on me when it's daytime? I have no idea, but whatever. Whoa, that was almost fall damage. Never mind, that was fall damage. At least our armor hasn't taken any damage from that. That's more like it. No! There we go. I remember I made the I made the drop an item button on here, the down arrow on the arrow pad just so that I wouldn't keep accidentally dropping shit. Could tame a parrot, but you know, whatever. Maybe we'll get a dog at some point or something. Hello, Panda. Spruce Forest. Get some berries, but, you know, we're not exactly short on food right now. Could be a spruce village, though. That'd be nice. This looks like a normal one, not a uh, redwood one. Right? Yeah, I don't see any massive ones. I don't think of it. I don't even see any berries. This looks like a relatively small one, too. Might just be a little stripe that goes through the jungle or something. Little fox. And yep, the jungle continues immediately through it. It's just a little tiny sliver of it. Gosh, if I was getting melons, we could have filled our entire inventory with melons by this point. Ooh, more sugar cane. That looks kind of cool behind the, uh, whatchamacallums. The vines. Now, guys, remember, vine is dead. These are TikToks. Does anyone else get like a uh, super frustrated when you get interrupted, like watching something for an ad that's for something you already use? I think I've told this story several times before, but I was, like, 
watching a YouTube video or something while I was playing Minecraft, and it interrupted me watching this YouTube video to play an advertisement about Minecraft, and I stopped playing the game for several months. Just from the sheer redundancy of it. I mean, I know they genuinely don't care because they've already got your money. What do they care if you play it or not? Is that grass on gravel? That's an odd place for a jungle tree to be. It's raining. Me just sprinting full speed through the rain, holding a loaf of bread and then eating it like it's not going to be completely sopping wet. A birch forest. It doesn't look like old growth. I don't think they're tall enough for that. Should I be killing these guys? Eh, why not? You're here, I got the inventory space. I mean, technically I'm only after the leather, but whatever. cobblestone and like bridge my way up in all honesty I shouldn't be like worrying too much about how I'm leaving this place because like we're never gonna come back here because if we ooh dark oak it's my second favorite biome mangrove's definitely the first although that's not in this version so too bad so sad Oh, you know what we should probably do? Is this a ravine? Yes, yes. Oh, wow, that's a deep one. Tis what she proclaimed. We're not going to down go down there because then we're going to die. Is that a pumpkin? Ooh, feathers. Get over here. Give me your feathers. Boop. Boop. How about thee, sir? Oh God! Thank you. Oh, I even got a bow from him. Isn't that nifty? Is it nighttime? Can I? Yes, I can. Whoop. Do 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 do. Oh, we almost did it again. Is that where I got turned around? Was it because of the bed? Honestly, I don't know. A swamp biome. It's a swamp. I 100% was gonna click on that sheep with my axe. And I would have killed it, because I just used the damage button instead of the harvest button anyways. Now, it could be worth it to make a boat here. The issue is, there's so many lily pads here that that's going to be annoying. I'm just going to break the sugar cane with my bed. Now I'm just picturing how funny it would be to see someone like going around and like harvesting shit. Like picture a like survivalist like TV show, but the tool he's using to like harvest everything and like break stuff is just a full like just a twin sized bed. Like he's just grabbing it by the leg and just beating the shit out of trees and stuff with it. Quite the calming thing. Whoop. Almost started taking bounding damage there. We're already past 2,000 blocks. An average of 1,000 blocks an episode isn't bad. Although, to be fair, that will take forever if we go as far as I want to. Sorry, sir. I am not letting you shoot me. You'll have to wait your turn. Do, do, 
do 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 copyright yay wall of stone let me through watch i'm gonna get a sapling from that now and then i have to throw it out sometimes the easiest way to get past something is just go around it especially if it's a random mountain in the middle of a biome Eat. <laughs> Sure to look down when you're doing stuff like that. That could have easily been a ravine, like an opening into one, and I could have just jumped into it and lost everything. Do -do -do. I wonder how many episodes it's gonna take before we actually run out of bread from our first like bread that we didn't craft. Because this is still bread that we didn't make. This was just stuff that was in the chests there. Now, unnecessary damage. Good thing this is an ultra hardcore mode. Horses, but they're kind of out of the way. And we don't want to get turned around again. Honestly, I love doing these kind of playthroughs just to see the different terrain that generates. Because, like, even in our, even in that. Uh, cave update series where we were over a million blocks away from spawn we did most of our traveling through the nether we didn't see what the overworld's like generation was up until that point Ooh, this is a nice deep spot in the river i also kind of wanted to do like a playthrough where i just like i'd have to turn cheats on so that i could do this from the beginning but like i'd uh <laughs> Like, I do a playthrough where I spend the entire playthrough underwater. Like, I just find an ocean biome, and I fill the entire ocean biome with, uh, like, what do you call them? Conduits. And then I we just spend the entire playthrough underwater. Like, we can go into caves and stuff, but we're, we're not going on, like, the surface or anything. It would pretty much make it so that my only food source would be fish, but... Oh no, because you can find bread and stuff in chests down there, can't you? I thought I was going to take damage from that, but the leaves stopped me. So far, nothing too insane. I mean, that that river bend area was pretty cool. The rivers have always been like a nice feature in the game. Whew, another village. Since we're going that way anyways, give me your leather. <laughs> Four. That's a baby. Um, maybe this one will have a blacksmith. Can you imagine if we get diamonds from a blacksmith right away? I'm so tempted to get the flowers and stuff because I'm too used to normal playthroughs. But in the nomad ones, you can't just be picking flowers. Although, you know what? If we ever do, like get mending and stuff in this series or any nomad series or whatever and we get high enough enchantments i might honestly just i i just kept running and didn't go towards the house didn't i <laughs> it's over here somewhere yeah um i might just switch back to leather armor and put like protection four on it and see what happens just screw around running around with that on well this is kind of a weird village I know you have a chest. <laughs> Yay, more toast. What's everybody's guess? How long are we going to go without having to actually make our own food just from the bread we're getting from these chests? Because we're already back up to 30. That's not going to have a chest in it. Okay. Go around the big hole. Hello, random golem. How are you doing today, sir? No blacksmith? Oh, I saw that. Not you. Get out of the way. I saw this. Not that we're in desperate need of food. Those guys don't have a chest in there, but they do have... Hmm... You know, for us getting mending later, this is probably going to be a necessity. 
Okay, so we continue this way. Yeah, this is the way we continue. The way we continue, this way, the way we're going, the way we continue, Cusco's continue. More chefs. Certainly getting a lot of chefs in this. So much stuff that I would grab if this were a normal playthrough. I wonder if the babies eating grass actually affects how fast they, uh, what do you call it? How fast they, words, grow up. Because I know giving them hay makes them grow up faster. But they seem to have, like, nerfed that in the last... Uh, another village! It's always in these playthroughs where we, like, don't particularly need the villages that often because we get so much food from them that we just find them like crazy. I mean, granted, there, there have been a ton of planes by them so far. But still. How much wool are we at? Almost half a stack. It's on the other side of a river. Does this have a cool, like, deep bend in it again? Eh, yeah, kind of. Not as deep as the other one. Greetings there, drowned sir. Just passing through. See you never again. Do -do -do -do. Why is the Indiana Jones theme song stuck in my head? I don't even remember the last time I watched one of those movies. <laughs> See, the issue is I don't have them on DVD, and I also... Oh, another one. I also... What's the word? I the, They're not, like, on streaming services, really. No, you get one house that has bread in it. Come here. Well, I assume it has bread in it. Yep. I didn't know they could have flowers. Honestly, I could probably ditch the potatoes. I could probably ditch the frickin' uh, cocoa beans if I wanted to, but we have an entire stack of them. That's a bit out of the way. You're directly in my path, so you're gonna have to die. Ooh, we actually got leather from him. What about you? You can donate to the cause? I didn't see if he did or not. Oh, but these are on our way. We're about to near 4,000. We're definitely making good time now. Now that we're not, you know, spending an entire episode in a cave. Although we will doubtlessly do that again. We might do some traveling where I just strip mine the entire time. Hopefully we'll hit an ocean soon because that, that's when we're really going to get our, uh, what you must call it, our distance going. Come on, swim mode, because it's faster. Because if there's no terrain for us to get into with... I noticed this on the PC version, too. On the PC, you can't swim along the surface like this and be exposed to air. It counts you as underwater. It's interesting seeing all the little differences between the different versions. I mean, I've switched between them all so much now. Have you seen that little graphical thing on the side there by the edge of the water? Whatever. Well, it looks like we're going to have to sleep again, but not here because there's those things here. So I should realistically probably be killing him. Did, did he just shoot the sheep? But hi there. Definitely not fighting you. Run. That. Now that is a mushroom. Holy shit. How tall is that? at least a 15 block high mushroom. Damn. Another village. Blacksmith? Ravine. Enderman? Nope, dead end. Let me past. Oh, I guess it starts over here. Whatever. Ah! Yay. Oh, wow. This is a... This is a blacksmith portal, huh? I guess I'll take those. I What does this have? Smite? Nah. Do I need that? I mean, we're eventually going to go to the nether, so I guess I'll take it. 
Plus, there's probably stuff in here. I, obsidian, I'm meaning. I'll take these. I'll take that. I'm leaving the saddle. Because horses do not have a high survival rate on these kinds of playthroughs. Wait, is this a second... Oh, no. This is that one with the... Uh, whatchamacallit? The furnace in it. I thought that was two blacksmiths with a portal in them. That would have been something. Hello, buddy. No! I... I meant to hit jump, and I hit crouch. Free me. Free me, Lord. Percy Jackson reference. Toast? Give me toast. I, I mean, I was half joking, but they gave me the toast. We're never gonna end up having to make bread again, are we? Oh, you know what I should do here? Uh, what am I doing? That's... Hello, baby zombie. These are all houses that don't have the, uh, thing in them. Hey, do you mind if I kill you and sleep in this bed? Why were you moving so fast? harvesting tool of a full a whole twin size bed that I'm beating shit with we got like seven and a half minutes let's see if we can break 5,000 oh that's a that's a strong dude sir will you give us the string required to make a bow <laughs> yes you will I'm just gonna do this so that I don't have to move the thingy. Doink. Turn it back off. Exit, and then we don't need that. How do you. I don't even know how to drop stuff in this. Is it this one? This one? It's Y. Since when did I pick up that? Since when did I pick up that? Otherwise, we seem fairly good. I don't... I mean, we're going to end up with more dirt anyway, so I'm not going to get rid of it until I have to. I don't really need the steak either, but I'm getting that just because... Hello, creeper that's in the water. If only I could, like, crouch and you do no damage. Now, is this a true ocean? It looks like it might be. Oh, where did my... This go? I don't need that up there. I don't need that down there. I only have one arrow. But I'm going to keep that down there anyways. Boat time! On this version, do you need the shovel still? I'm going to take that as a yes. Yep, you definitely do. Honestly, that, uh, that, like, guide mode is definitely useful for one thing, and that's, I found specifically crafting pumpkin pie. Because eggs only stack up to 16, whereas everything else stacks up to 64. So, everything else you use to make a pie. So, uh, that way you can just click that instead of having to go through the whole... Is that another portal up there? That looks like a portal. That is a portal. 
I'm just gonna take the boat with me because I might as well not have to make another one. I almost... I tried to feed the boat an apple. I don't know what I'm doing. Do, 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 do. Why is that stuck in my head? I mean, we are adventuring. Ooh, there's a block of gold there. That might be useful for piglins in the long run. And you might be useful for leather and feathers in the long run. Give me the feathers. Now. Now. Yo. Obsidian. Ooh, a golden apple. That's definitely useful. What do you got? Fortune on an axe. Not very useful. Silk touch. Is there anything we need to shilt touch with a shovel? I don't think so. Make sure I'm hitting the right button here. I did see a gold block. What am I doing? Give me. Is there one? No. Okay, moving on. Onward and this away. We're definitely going to breach 5,000 by the end of this episode. Not bad for two episodes. Especially with all the dicking around we've been doing with all this random stuff. Oh, look, some feathers. Or just a whole rotisserie chicken. That, that could work, too. <laughs> and boat time again. Oceans are amazing in this because... Uh, are those clouds? Or it it kind of looked like a really tall biome for a second, but whatever. Um, oceans are just great for this because there's no obstacles. You just straight line as far as you can go. Forty nine hundred. I'm guessing five thousand is just going to be a random patch of ocean, isn't it? I don't see any geodes or ruins or shipwrecks or anything. Yep, 5,000's right here in the dead center of the ocean. I have some stuff to do after this, so this will probably be the last episode of this I record today. But, one last chance will continue. Probably. That's quite the random pillar of... Is that? Oh, I thought that was like Prismarine or something. I'm like, since when do they have these here? Honestly, let's just go around this. Assuming it doesn't stretch too far. This is a really deep part of the ocean here. Eh, we're gonna have to make landfall, I guess. That's a really tall sugar can. Oh, we might even hit 6,000. Won't that be dandy? Maybe I should title each of these videos, like, having the title how like, much distance we're at. I mean, we gotta at least hit 125,000. That's what we hit in perpetual motion before it stopped. Ooh, look at this free leather. <coughs> Rabbit. There's a puppy. Hello. Why are you so angry? Oh yeah, funny. Go over here, get the sugar cane, and then boat away. Okay. With that, whatever. Ooh, isn't that like what the second rarest biome is the like warm ocean one? And it's right there. That's cool. 
Still haven't seen any shipwrecks. I think we went over this before, how, like, for some reason on some of the versions they made it so that it's, like, shipwrecks are, like, impossible to find now. I think it was because too many people were finding too much OP loot from the treasures. I'm thinking we're going to stop on this little island, because that's going to be just over 9,000. Or, er, not 9,000. It's not over 9,000. We are not Vegeta. It's over 6,000. Just still over what Goku was in their first fight, so... Uh. And... Hi, Dolphin. That's in a hole for some reason. Random survival island. Well, terrible one because there's no trees on it, but here we are. We're going to end the video right there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have fun, guys.